Caterpie. Oh, where's the new Pokemon? I love the, the screen, though. Oh, and the battle looks uh, nice and... Um... Oh, no! Level 65! Level 65 Mew versus level 5 Caterpie in episode 1. That's not right. Welcome to the opening of the video. Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to Pokemon Insurgents, a game I found online on a, um, I believe it's a Kickstarter project, but, um, I don't know, I'll have to check, because I don't know if it's funded by Kickstarter or a different type of program, and I certainly hope this video works out, because it's a different, uh, format that I'm not used to using. Like, for example, um, the game you actually see here isn't full screen mode. Bandai Cam won't recognize it as a full-on game, so I had to uh, minimize the actual screen capture software and actually have it in a small window like this with just the video game itself inside of that window. And I know tons of people have done that before, but to me it's new. To, to me it's new, so, you know, take it easy on me. And I'm actually really excited about this game. Um, bit of a disclaimer. Uh, it's a fan-made game uh, for fans, by fans, not owned by Pokemon, not affiliated with the Nintendo or any type of corporation in any way. Um, <laughs> uh, please support the official release. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 i got to select... Okay, sorry about my cursor there. I have to select the actual game because without doing that, I wind up selecting the screen recording software. So, let's select New Game. And before I started this, I had to, like, um, install the uh, font files so that it'll actually display the fonts of the actual game. Oh, and I also picked custom frames. So, as you can see, my custom frame for um, text looks like the Pokédex, which I love. And I'm also hoping that even though I used screen recording instead of, like, actual game recording, I'm hoping that I used custom frame. I'm hoping I can still get my face cam in there somewhere. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Welcome to Pokemon Insurgents. Current version release is 1.2, a complete game in s aside from potential. Oh, uh, aside from potential patches in the future. Would you like to play with the traditional or dark story? I read the preview of the dark story. I really do want to try it. Like, look at this. Here, I'll read them both out to you. Excuse me. Mm. Traditional story is a story more in line with the official Pokemon games. I'm going to turn it down a wee bit. On my end, it's really loud. But of course, after editing, you might not be able to tell. Traditional story is a story mode in line with the official Pokemon games, albeit with more characters, more plot, and so on. The dark story is a darker storyline. Characters will die on screen. Characters will die on screen. People will fuse with Pokemon. <laughs> and the antagonists are cults. <laughs> I, I really want to try it so bad. If it gets too bad, I'll have to age restrict it, which means I won't be able to monetize it in the future, but it sure will gain a lot of um, attraction to the channel, maybe. I don't know. I... Ooh, I have an idea. What if I tried the traditional storyline first? That might attract people to be like, I really want him to finish the traditional storyline so he does the dark storyline. You know? I mean, if I, was, if I was famous and popular, people would care. <laughs> They'd want me to finish it and do the tr uh, dark storyline. Plus, if I do the traditional storyline, if I do the dark storyline first, then there wouldn't be anything to look forward to later on. I'm gonna do the traditional storyline and and stay tuned for the uh, you out there. Stay tuned for the official release of the dark storyline. If if sorry, I thought somebody was at the door. Uh, there should be, it should be no problem to put the dark storyline on YouTube, even if it's a little bit edgy, I'll just age restrict it. Pick whichever one is more your speed. This can be changed in the options menu, so feel free to try one or the other and switch later on if it's too tame or edgy. Hey, see? Edgy. Would you like to play with the, uh, we're gonna go traditional on this one. I, you know, 
I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I promise I'll play the dark storyline at some point, if I can. Are you sure? Yes. So what have we... Oh, um, that's uh, Wingo and Plepper. Yeah! Wingles and Pleppers. What's that dark screen off in the corner there? And is it lagging? This is a pretty heavy... This is a pretty heavy computer. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I wish my mic was in the right spot. It needs to be like in front of me, like right here. Lately I've been using the uh, audio from just the camcorder uh, because the audio from the mic is actually not that great. Is it supposed to be patchy like that? I don't know. Oh! Does it only speed up once I move my cursor around? Unpatchiness? If you're seeing the release of this video, it means it actually worked out and I was able to play it. If not, I wasn't able to play it. <laughs> oh, please. Please don't be patchy just because I'm recording with Bandai Cam. Uh, can I play it? Whoa. Torin region. One year ago. Come on. My friends. Oh, well, at least the text is in regular speed. My friends, thank you all for coming to this press conference on such short notice. I have some important information for all of you. Once I figure out more about this guy's character, I think he's going to be important. I'll probably figure out a voice for him. Like, uh, Undertale. I love that game. It, I bring both good news and bad news. <laughs> Dots. As I'm sure you know, where others may have only one or two, our region is filled to the brim with dastardly teams. Aside from their goals to find legendary Pokemon, they aren't very different from the teams of Kanto and Kalos. And of course, who could forget our very own Augur, the hero of the people who rose up to fight those villains. I haven't been keeping up with the Pokemon storylines lately. The last thing I started seeing was, I mean, you know, I kind of grew out of it, but, you know, it was, uh, I think it was like Diamond and Pearl was my last ones, and then there's like, um, gosh, out right now is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, Sun and Moon, and, and then something after that, too. Uh, that brings me to my announcement. Having protected us for so long, our Augur has, as of today, officially decided to move on. He's finally set off to see other regions, meet new people, and who can blame him? But fear not, my friends. You will not go defenseless. <laughs> the way he walked. I, Jarn, of Helio City, will become your new augur. Apparently that's like protector, I guess. Until such time as... Until such time that he returns, if ever, I will guard this region from anyone who works against it. As long as I lead you, I promise there will be nothing to fear. Long live the Torin region. Oh, that's hard. I don't know if that's going to actually, like, pan out. We will remain strong. Ooh, Gengar face. Would you like to do a challenge run of this game? Lock or similar? What's a challenge run? Wait, lock or si like Nuzlocke? It has it built into the game? Oh, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Don't make me do Nuzlocke, please. <laughs> It'll give me more views. Oh god, I won't be able to beat it, but I'll I, 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 Nuzlocke. Let's see what they have. What kind of challenge would you prefer? Oh god, they do have them built into the game. They have them all built into the game. Oh sweet Jesus, they had them built into the game. Oh my god. Oh, I don't have time in this episode to look up the definitions of the various different types of Pokemon games. 
I only slightly know Nuzlocke, a little bit. And that's only because I watched uh, WTHP uh, play the Nuzlocke rules for uh, Pokemon Emerald. Oh my god, randomized, um, power points challenge, egg challenge, solo run. Oh. I've got an idea. How about I just don't do a challenge for this playthrough, and then, and then you know, I'll look up the definitions, print them out, or write them down, and for the dark playthrough, I can do one of the challenges. It'll be dark and a challenge. What do you think? Well, it's not in real time, so that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to backspace, like, really bad. Please, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Non-technical challenge. Is that is that an option? Oh, I don't know why I'm using my cursor. Uh, wait. Oh, is the mouse required on this one? Oh, it is. Uh, Iron Man challenge, Wonder challenge, Bravery challenge, non-technical challenge. Oh my God! I don't I don't want to look these up. I I I I don't have time. Backspace, please. I can't exit escape. Are you sure? Oh, are you sure these are the settings you wish to play with? What did I choose? I chose no. I chose no challenges, right? What kind of challenge one run would you prefer? Okay, so I didn't pick a challenge. I pressed escape. That's no challenges, right? Are you sure these are the settings you wish to play with? Yes. I, I'm, I'm sorry if this video is so technical. I mean, this is all new to me. And, and it's, it's fair. You know, I'm not one of those fake people that plays a game. Well, I don't know. I mean, playing a game all the way through isn't necessarily fake and then, you know, doing a YouTube video on it, but I wanted to show my viewers or anyone else that watches someday the real, honest, my first impressions with the game. Okay, we're going to say yes. Um, Gengar face frightens me. <laughs> Hello, is, is, this, is this thing on? Can, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Dots. Oh, thank goodness. I knew you wouldn't get beaten that easily. You've got to li- I, 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 I knew it was going to say easily. You've got to listen to me. You're in a very awkward situation right now, to say the least. Don't worry. If we work together, I'm sure I can get you out. But first, do you remember your name? Um, I was hit on the head, so no. We're going to go with... Russo Robo. Wait, no. Russo Roboto. Dag blasted. Why can't I backspace? Hold on. Enter is confirm. Escape is cancel. Okay, so escape is. Con get, what? What? Escape. Escape. Enter text using the keyboard. Press escape to cancel or enter to confirm. Can I please replace that letter? Can I get the U out of there? Please. Anything. I would, I would just love that. Please. Is it stuck there? Is it lagging? Hold on. Shift R. So that 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 right there, that little dot right there isn't part of the name. I can't get rid of the R either. Am I stuck with all of my selections? No backspace. No shift. Arrow keys don't do it. Oh sweet Jesus. No. No, please. Oh my gosh. Escape doesn't do it. Whoa! Are you sure? Heck no! You better let me enter that name again. Okay, good. Okay. So, we have to hold down escape and then select, are you sure? And then when we select no, we start all over again. So, we got to get it right the first time. R. Come on. Any minute now. Huh. Maybe maybe my computer's not right for this. Huh. Try again. R. No, that's lowercase. Are you sure? No. Shift R. Come on. Ah, heck with it. I'll just use caps lock. R. Come on. C 
Come on. Okay, okay. It, it's got to be, I guess, when it's blinking. You. Come on. There. S. S. Oh wow, this thing's really slow. Uh, I'll wait for it to come up again. S. O. Can I space? Is space an option? Okay, space is an option, but it has to go blink, blink. This is that's terribly slow. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe I didn't set it properly in the options menu. So. Uh, R, O, B, O. No, no. Okay, it didn't. It didn't get those last ones. Now that could either be B. It, that could either be. It might be the name limit. It it might be the limit on your amount of characters. B, no. R O. Wait for it to B. Nope. It looks like we've reached the limit of our character selection. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got like eight characters we can use. Yeah, I'm sitting here like mashing all the different characters. No option for that. So let's wait. Okay, we can backspace. We can. We just have to wait for the for the cursor to pop back up. And come on, there it is again. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Oh, double tap. Hold on. Cursor comes back again. No? Oh. oh, uh. For a second there, it looked like you had to tap it twice to confirm. R. O. B. Come on. B. Okay. Definitely. You, you definitely know I tried that time. Double tap backspace. Double tap. Double tap. Come on. Oh. Whew. Cursor comes back. Okay. So we're just going to go with Russo on this one. I am sorry about that. Um, enter. Whew. Are you sure? Heck yeah, I'm sure. I ain't doing that again. Okay, good. What else do you remember? Are you a boy or a girl? Girl. <laughs> and do you remember what you look like? Ooh, I get to select? Um, well, out of those ones, I guess brown hair would be the most generic and, and unfortunately... Wait, he has dark skin, though. I have much lighter skin. But my hair is dark like his. Um, hold on. Left, middle, or right? So the one on the right is... This guy way over here, if you can see my cursor. That guy is the one in the middle. He's the one in the left. I'm going to go with this guy. Hold on. Left. Right. Left. Proper. Proper. Enter. Are you sure? Yes. Thank goodness. You still remember everything. I'm going to send someone to help get you out of there, okay? As soon as you exit the forest, you need to find... They're coming back? Quickly, Russo. Wake up! Oh, at least they got my name right. This is your chance to escape. You know what I think I'll do? Since there was so much, uh, like, you know, editing in this video, it, it only has like 30 minutes on the recording for my camera. I think what I'll do is I'll combine this video with the last one and sort of splice them together so that you actually get some action somewhere in there. So how is he doing? He looks healthy. He's been asleep for nearly three days. Fortunately, he's waking up tomorrow. You have no idea how boring this is. Supervision job... Oh, how boring this supervision job has been. What are you planning to do with him? Well, he's not going to remember anything when he wakes up. Persephone? Perse Persephone. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, you Ripides? <laughs> you Ripides? Who's your principal, Cyrus? <laughs> I'm sorry, no one gets that reference. Persephone is just going to let him go. No harm done. I'm not sure why she's so afraid of him. He's just a kid after all. It's not our call to make. You know Miss Persephone. God, that's hard to say. Persephone knows best. I guess so. I'll just... 
Um, I'm just bummed because Persephone's going to try summoning Darkrai again. Ooh, Darkrai. I remember him. Today. Oh, goodness. You know what? They kind of look like, um, they kind of look like, uh, little mini Darkrai's, don't they? Or was that a different one? No, it was the same one. She wants to keep an eye on the kid until he wakes up, so I can't come and watch. Well, why not just leave one of your Pokemon here to supervise? Then you can come see it guilt-free. Hmm, that's a pretty good idea, actually. It's not like she's going to find out. <clears throat> come on out, Gengar. You might be able to make it back without her noticing. Let's go, quick. Okay, depending on whether or not I can play the game, like, I know the cutscenes are kind of choppy. That's the word I was looking for earlier. They're choppy. But if I can move my character around and battle without it being choppy, then we're fine. Okay, so we got some dots here. Oh, Mew! <laughs> I remember Mew. Can I get up? Can I move? Move, please. Get up. Oh, hello, Mew! Beat that Gengar! Beat... No. Oh. Wait, scared him away? Oh, well, I guess he scared him away. Oh, Mew! Mew's like, get away from my human! Can I get up? Russo, you can wake up now. Follow Mew and find your way out of the base. Uh, oh! Well, hello there! It's me! I'm awake! Mew, can we can we talk? Oh, goodness. Wait, uh, Mew. Oh, Mew is taking it easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, pay, it's, uh, it plays pretty good, not too choppy. I might, I might uh, mess around with some graphic settings and option settings, but depending on how the battles go, it's not that bad. Uh, the door is locked. Instead of a key, instead of a key lock, a fingerprint scanner stops it from being opened. What are these boxes? If there's anything special in them, I missed the first one. I'll go back for it. Eh, nothing. Okay, what? I love how it said follow Mew, and he's following me. I don't know the way out. Is that is that a hyper potion? I might need that. Yep, potion. I like how I've been playing the game for five minutes and I thought it was going to be a hyper potion. Nothing ever gives you a hyper potion in the first five minutes of the game. Who's that lucky? Well, then again, there's probably walkthroughs that show you how to get those. Yeah, it's a little bit too choppy. In the next episode, I'm going to tweak some settings and see if I can fix that. Because we still got five minutes for me to make it out of this base alive. I mean, in the dark set. Oh, dude. I bet in the dark playthrough, if I black. Like, if I white out and run out of Pokemon. Wait, what was it? There's blackout and whiteout. Blackout is when you run out of Pokemon during battle, whiteout is when you run out of Pokemon during training. I bet if I blackout or whiteout, my character just, you know, keels over right there, just dies, just drops dead. I didn't know if there was going to be blood and gore. <laughs> Like, what's the dark playthrough like? Can I put it on YouTube at all? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit choppy, but we're good. I mean, it's a fan-made game, and it looks great as far as Pokemon stuff. Mew is holding a small note. It can write now? I choose Mew to help you out. Oh, I chose Mew to help you out due to its special ability. It is, able, it is able to use Transform to change its form and disguise itself as something else. I forgot it could do that. Un, however, unlike Ditto, Mew can transform you as well. Really? Oh, I missed that movie. Uh, sorry about the glare on my glasses. It's awfully bright in here. If you can find DNA... If you can find DNA, you can disguise you as something else. Search for something that that could contain DNA, such as used clothes. Hmm. So I'm pulling a, a Jurassic Park now. I'm just picking up DNA and walking out with it. You should be able to use this to escape. Good luck, your benefactor. Oh, I have a benefactor. Oh, my. I don't know about all that. They're still undecided as to whether traveling with Russo is a good thing or not. Oh. So I'm looking for used clothes. I suppose that's going to be in one of the other rooms I couldn't get in earlier. Uh, what about this over here? Door? The door is locked with a fingerprint scanner. Oh, Jesus. So I do need to go. I don't know what that green is. I mean, 
I'm gonna still go up these stairs even though I'm not disguised. I don't know if I'm gonna get found out by people. I don't know if I'm looking for clothes. I mean, hey, there's a potion. Oh, there's the clothes. It's one of those guys' outfits. I mean, heck, if I really need disguising, why don't I just put the outfit on? You know, old James Bond style. You know, uh, or uh, Austin Powers. You know, play a little game of uh, of um, become the minion or what have you. You know, you know where they they get, give me the clothes. Give me, give me, give me. A used Darkrai. It is Darkrai cloaks. Lies on the table. Obtain DNA of Darkrai cultists. Wait a minute. I selected the non-dark. I selected the non-dark path, but it still said obtained clothes of of Darkrai cultist. So, hmm. Okay, let's talk to Mew. Choose an interaction. Ah, Mew is still undecided as to whether traveling with Russo is a good thing or not. So we need to transform. Choose an interaction, Dark Cry Cultist. There's no reason to use that now. Okay, so I don't need to be Dark Cry, Dark Cry Cultist yet. But we do need to get the heck out of here. So, do I need to go back to... Oh, I must need to go back to one of the doors and use the fingerprint scanner to, um... Or use to transform, to transform into a Dark Cry Cultist and to get the fingerprint scanner thing. You know, let it scan my fingerprints so I can get in there. So, let's do, let's try this and see if it, you know, automatically, uh, mute, transform me. Choose an interaction. Transform. Choose an interaction. Dark Rite Cultist. Oh, poof! I'm, I'm a Dark Rite Cultist. Oh, neat outfit. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, the door is locked. Now, use the fingerprint scanner. Unlock, yes. See, now I'm the, now I'm the dude. What is this green liquid? Oh, I like the flowy, look at the flowy sleeves. Look at you, fluff, fluff, fluff. What is this green liquid? Hey, it's a statue of Darkrai. Uh, an occultist I probably have to get past, but what's up here first? Oh, we're down to a minute left. Okay, so I won't do my outro just yet. Um, what should I do? Uh, I need to pause the recording and then turn the recording off on here and just combine it with later on because if I don't turn it off and start a new recording it's gonna tell me about how the the battery's not dead yet alright so I didn't touch anything let's go see what's over here now <gasps> a more, another potion I can't remember what color the potions are Russo found ice oh it's an ice heal good 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 do I even have any Pokemon yet and how do I check that uh, enter shift uh, C, control, tabs, caps lock, tab. It was tab in, in the earlier games, but I imagine I don't have any Pokemon. I just woke up in some crazy, you know, uh, Darkrai team base. Oh, come on, give me the thing. Potion, yay. So potions are purple. Oh, you can even hear it. You can hear the cloak going fluff, 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 fluff. And I love this music. This is good music. I can't wait to fix the, like, settings so that it doesn't, um... Oh, my back. I can't wait to fix the settings so that it doesn't, you know, act so choppy. And also, I hope they have, like, the shoes on this game that you can double-click and go faster. So... This is probably another ice heal, I think. Oh, oh, an awakening. I thought because of the color it was ice heal. So they want you to go up here and collect all this this special awesome stuff. And we got... I'm probably going to try to play this for like an hour. Just like uh, I should have done with Undertale. Because, I mean, these RPG games are super, super long. And you got to have a minute to really get into them. So I'd probably suggest watching this on a weekend when you don't have to go to school or work. Otherwise, it's, I mean, you know, this isn't something you could watch on a 15 to 30 minute break. But it has a lot of potential. Ooh. Oh, there was the Dark Cry Cultist downstairs and this one up here. So which way do I go? Hello, fellow, hello, fellow thug and or criminal. Is this where the thugs and or criminals hang out? Because I too am a thug and or criminal. 
maybe 45 minutes. Oh, this must be the spot where they were talking about what the event was going on. Uh, oh, yep, cutscene. All right, is everyone ready? This is the mach is the machine working? Do we have a link on Darkrai? Oh, was that person wearing some sort of squid mask? Dots. Then we should get be ready to go. We've put a lot of work into this. But after nearly a year of evil schemes and plans, we finally have what we need to summon and catch Darkrai. This is our chance, everyone. Let's begin. Activate the machine. Oh god, it's Mew all over again. He's gonna kill you all. Oh, excuse me, Mew too. Ooh, symbols. Ooh. Uh, cornrow symbols. Flashing cornrow symbols. Da -na 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 -na. Oh god, I'm gonna turn that down. That's bad. On the back. I'm gonna angle the camera so I can lean down a little bit. Freaking back hurts. Eh. Eh. No. What? Darkrai, welcome to my lair. It's so good to see you again. Oh, and it got all dark and creepy too. You are the great balancer of the world. You punish the great and ground the immortal. It has been a year since I saw you last. Do you remember? We accomplished something incredible that day. But afterwards you fled off to my sister. Why? What could she possibly have that I don't? She betrayed me. You shouldn't identify yourself by staying with someone like her. Join me, Darkrai. With your immense power and my leadership, the world could be ours. Terrifying. We would be unstoppable. It's not working. Quick, activate the net. Don't let it get away. I love that. I couldn't convince it of my plans. Before it escapes, after refusing me, catch it. Oh, there it goes. Too late. You suck. Great. Just great. An entire year's worth of work. Down the drain. This was all just a waste of time. I don't just, I just don't get it. What could be, what could we be doing wrong? At the very least, we still have that boy. Speaking of, I'm going to check on him. He'll be waking up soon, and we definitely can't have him escaping. I wonder what's so special about my character. Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, so I, I imagine the exit's not out that way. So I guess downstairs? Uh, yeah, exit's probably not this way. Nope. So let's go back downstairs to that area from before. I don't really think I need to talk to any of these guys. I can't believe I just saw a legendary Pokemon face to face. Yep, you sure did. Persephone has a sister? Persephone. 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 I can't pronounce it. I'm going to try this way, see if this is the exit. i got to get out of here. i, I got to get out of here. Another potion. Or another something. Burn heal. Awesome. I like that. So it's definitely not this way towards the exit. Battery's still looking halfway decent. Let's see now. I gotta find the exit. We've been recording for what looks to be 34 minutes now. So at about 45, maybe I'll give it a try, or no, or uh, maybe an hour? I mean, uh, shoot, an hour's worth of gameplay. I mean, you've seen people that will watch, like, you know, they'll be there for a live stream, and a live stream will go on for three or four hours. And then if someone missed the live stream, they'll watch the uh, pre-recorded footage for, like, all three hours, so it's not so much to ask for an hour's worth of recording, but I'll try not to, you know, have it too long. I mean, I really want to make it at least out of this base in the first episode and see what capturing Pokemon is like and, you know, the rest of the, you know, 99.9% .9 of the game. I've never been trapped in a 
you know, team base in the first, you know, cutscene of the game, which is very interesting. I kind of like, and there we are, Shade Forest. Listen to that music. And it's an indie game, so I think I can put it on the video. That is great music. Is this like the last one where you just jump over hills? Okay, that must be a little bit too far down. So we're looking to go this way. Yes, this way down. I mean, usually, you know, you start out, you know, Welcome, I'm Professor What's-His-Face. I'm Various Professor X, Y, or Z. Pick your starting Pokemon. But, you know, that's not what's going down here. Oh, do I get to go through the tall grass with Mew on my side? Well, that one's gonna get messed up. <laughs> oh, that's not right. Caterpie. Oh, where's the new Pokemon? I love the, the screen, though. Oh, the battle looks uh, nice and... Um... Oh, no. Level 65. Level 65 Mew versus level 5 Caterpie in episode 1. That's not right. Welcome to the opening of the video. I can't. Should I do it? Don't do it. Don't. Must not. Must not. Uh, isn't Bug strong against Psychic? I mean, it's not going to be super effective, but this is still going to be a one shot. Oh, I'll use ancient power. Oh, God. <laughs> you gained two experience points. Oh, God. Okay. That's wrong. Please, I just need a repel. Like, it doesn't even have to be a super repel. Just a regular repel. We'll run from the rest of them. I feel bad for that. I don't even think I have any Pokeballs for capturing them. Okay, so we're going around here. Uh, I guess there was a shortcut through that way. But now we're back on the main trail. So luckily enough, the battle system works just fine. And we're going to try to find our way to town. We've got to find civilization. What's that in the corner there? A book? Uh... Looks like you might have to use cut or something to remove those logs. Yeah, those are definitely going to be in the way. So, this is a forest type area. This must lead into town. Telnor Town, perfect. There's a small flute and another note in Mew's hands. Obtained quartz flute. And the best part about this is I'm playing a game that's not like officially released as a an official Pokemon game. It's a fan-made game, so giving it exposure is also a good thing, and the fact that it's indie means that, you know, you won't see it in too many other places, hopefully. <sighs> this flute lets you call upon Mew when needed. To use it, go into your bag and either use it directly or register it. Good luck! Your benefactor. Mew, in any battle, in any gym. No, I wouldn't. But he sure messed up that canopy, though. <laughs> A mysterious stranger approaches. Dots. I could swear I saw Mew here just now. Did you see it? A tiny pink Pokemon? It was floating. Nope. Didn't catch him. Sorry. Missed him, bub. You... Sorry. He wasn't here. Don't know what you're talking about. You must be crazy. It was floating really close to you. <gasps> nope. Didn't see him. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna turn that down. That was really loud. Oh, I could swear I... My name is da Damien. Ooh, Damien. Cute name. I'm an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And you are? Russo, got it. You came to Telnor Town at the perfect time. The Augur, the great man in the world. The great man in the world, of course, is coming in today. You should know who Augur is, right? <gasps> nope, never heard of him. How could you... Not! Have you been living under a rock? No, I've been living in apparently some sort of dark ride training facility and capturing facility, but that's that's all beside the point. Have you been living under a rock? We've been through this already. He's the guy who protected the region. He's my biggest hero. The mayor and the townsfolk have been preparing ever since this morning. I'm excited. I was just running errands before he arrives. I know. 
Why don't you help out? We're assigning jobs in Town Hall. You know, cleaning and so far, uh, so on. Uh, there he goes. Okay, let's go follow him. Do 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 do. do. Uh, we're at about 40 minutes now, so let's go find this guy. Where'd he go? He said Town Hall. Which one's Town Hall? Is that the same guy that talks about how amazing technology is? In every single game. Look that up. That's actually a meme. There's always in every starting town. There's always that same guy that talks about how amazing technology is. I saw it as a Facebook post for a meme about last week. Technology is amazing. I can talk to my friends all over the world. I can share Pokemon battle. I can share Pokemon battle or even visit secret bases. He's in every game. Woo! I kind of feel bad for Damien. All the other kids in the town got a Pokemon and, and left, but he wasn't allowed to. Ooh, a little bit of backstory there. Why wasn't he allowed to? People call him the Augur, but that's not quite right. He's actually the second Augur. The first one retired a while ago, so I'm still assuming Augur means uh, protector. I could probably get like a hundred hours out of this, even if I play for an hour at a time. I mean, I want to beat the game on the channel. You did hear the augur's coming to our little town, right? He's like the leader of the region. I heard he has a Salamence. Awesome. Is that an umbrella? Indoors. This concerns me greatly. Processor. Per yep, Processor. That's the word. Professor Sylvan gives Eevee to young trainers as a starting Pokemon. <gasps> Eevee? Oh, that's so cool. While it's a bit boring by itself, Eevee is special because it can evolve into so many different things. Oh, Bella, you'd love this game. I won't evolve my Eevee if I caught it. I just have this feeling there'd be a reward somewhere for keeping it as is. That's a hint. I bet it is. Oh, God, but I want to evolve it so bad. Does this one have television stations where I can be the star? You know, where the, where the news crews, like on the last one, uh, interview me? There's nothing good on TV. Not yet, not. Not yet, of course. I haven't been on TV yet. I haven't debuted. <gasps> Let's check, uh... Well, we don't need the Pokemon Center, because I ain't got no Pokemon. This must be Town Hall. Looks a little Town Hall-y. Is this where we pick our Pokemon? Is this guy important? I'm going to draw the Augur a portrait when he's here. Oh, an artist, maybe? After all, everyone in the town is supposed to give him a gift. Hmm. I gotta get new headphones. These are cutting off the blood circulation of my brain. That's the dude, right? Yeah, he, that's the dude. We found him. Uh, what was his name? Damien? I finished cleaning up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, oh, this is Russo. I made him outside. They offered to help, too. Nice to meet you, Rousseau. Well, Damien, I think we're pretty well finished. As long as you have the gift for the auger ready, I think you're done. You do have the gift, right? Oh, uh, well, um, I may have forgotten. Of course you have. Uh, oh, he's an older gentleman. Of course, well, of course you have. You better find one fast, and I heard you could find a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Of course, you'd need a Pokemon to go safely. Absolutely not. Oh, that must be his, ma uh, his mom. Absolutely not. Damon is not ready to have his own Pokemon. He's not old enough. <laughs> mom, please. Everyone else in the town has already got theirs and left. You'll get yourself hurt, Damien. We've talked about this. <laughs> I can't do that voice. I just can't. I know I'm just your foster mother, but I really do care about you. I'm doing this for your own good. That's enough out of you two. You're embarrassing us. You said your name was Russo, right? I'm sure you've handled a Pokemon before. Nope. We'll lend you both one, and Damien would like... We'll lend you... We'll lend one to both of you. Both... We'll lend one to both you and Damien. Would you be willing to help him through the forest, to the caves, to find him and a gift for the auger? To help him find a gift for the auger? I'm just bad at reading, apparently. Uh, well, in order to continue the narrative, yes, I would be most willing to help.
Wonderful. I'm grateful. How about that, Damien? How about that? Damien will have someone watching over him so he won't get into any trouble. Fine, but don't blame me if he mess. Oh, fine, but don't make me blame me if he messes up. Russo, let's go. I really want to debut this episode today, but there's so many things I need to do. Like, to give credit to the original artist, I really need to find out their, um... I really need to do, like, some disclosure. I found their advertisement on Facebook. I need to find out what company um, they're going with for their Kickstarter, like to start up their program, and add a link to that, and a link to their original artist site if they have it. That way I can give them credit. Because without that, I don't think I can upload the music or the game in general. I don't think I can even monetize it yet. Well, of course I can't because I don't have 10,000 views. But even if, even if I had 10,000 views, I'm not sure if I could monetize it. Even if it's, even though it's already a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Indie game. But I really want to give credit to the original artist, so I've got to try to do that. I'll meet you in the professor's lab to get an Eevee. She has a bunch of Eevees, so her days as a trainer, oh, from her days as a trainer. The lab is just in the southeast corner of the town. I'll see you there. I really hope I don't mess this up. Hey, Russo. Thanks for agreeing, to, for agreeing to do this with me. It really means a lot. Oh, blood circulation. Freaking headphones. I can see now why the big name YouTubers have the headphones that cover their entire ears. Uh, when your head gets all tingly. So we are at about 46 minutes now. Southeast corner of the town? You there, what can you tell me about the lab? The second auger is the most amazing person ever. They say he's so strong he defeated Kyogre in a wrestling match. Isn't that incredible? That doesn't happen. I bet this one down here's the lab. After I speak to this person, don't you ignore me! Are you a trainer? If you want to succeed, you need to be ready for anything. Obtain potions. Those potions let you heal your Pokemon even in battle. No duh. Yep, that's definitely gotta be the lab. So after we Oh, this guy looks interesting. Do you have a Pokemon? If not, I'm sure Professor Sylvian would be happy to give you one. She has a bunch of Eevee. Is this based on one of the original games or is this an original game by itself? We'll find out. But after I get my original Eevee, I'll probably cut it there because I'm going to pass out on camera because of lack of blood circulation. Ooh, this is new, awesome music as well. I'm going to take the headphones off for a minute. Oh, my God. I've never done an hour-long recording before. This is a lot more challenging than those guys make it look. Listen, Professor. We just can't afford to keep them. You have a bunch of Eevee anyway. It's not like that would be a burden to you. Or anything. <clears throat> I can't do female voices. It's not like I don't... It's not like that I can't... Rukra? Rukra. It's just that these aren't the kinds of Pokemon I can give away to any trainers. Nobody's going to want them. That may be. But I'd be, be better if... But it'd be better if they stayed with you than with me. Uh, hello? Hmm. I'm Damien, and this is Ruko. Russo. <laughs> Don't even know my own name. We're here to get a Pokemon so we can go into the forest safely. Hmm. Sylvian, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them. Can't you just give them to these kids? Ah, <sighs> just put them on the table. Thank you. Huh. Boop! 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 Pokemans! Excuse me, please. Move over, Damien. This man's coming through. So, you two are in need of a Pokemon. Uh, yes ma'am. I see. That means that there... That man that was in here just now, he was one of my colleagues in, in our university. 
He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of a cult of perfection. But listen, that's not what's important right now. Tell me, Damien, Russo, have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? No, please, explain to me. Uh, me neither. Then allow me to explain. Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomenon in the Holy Region far away. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Simply put, they're typed differently than normal. An example would be an Electro-type, Dragonite, or a Water-type, Porygon. These Pokemon on the table now are Deltas. I'll have to look that up. I might be an idiot. I'm not sure what type they are, but they seem to look like Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Oh, come on! I'm not playing Pokemon Yellow here. Give us something special. They're scientific marvels. I would love to keep one to study. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start you off on your journey. However, it seems that there are three more options for you to choose from. So I will offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I normally give away. If you want an Eevee, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. Uh, Russo, I don't know what to do. Delta species seem interesting, but I'd almost rather have a regular Pokemon. I'll follow your lead on this one. Okay, so... Oh god, we've only got four minutes left to choose. Dun 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 <laughs> uh, And we're at 51 minutes. Okay, uh, I better cut the recording here so I get plenty of time to choose and then splice the episodes together, so... Sure, it, are these actually Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, like she said? What the heck? I'm glad I checked. Look at this. This is a fairy and fit a fairy and psychic type Pokemon. Delta Bul Bulbasaur. This is your choice? It's so interesting. No. Oh my gosh, what's Delta Charmander look like? Ghost and Dragon type Delta Charmander? Oh, that's so cool. That must be based on the original game. Heck no. Uh, I mean, it probably is going to be, but we've got to see Delta Squirtle. Oh. My. God. Dark and fighting type Pokemon. Delta Squirtle. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Oh, give me a minute to choose. Should I randomize it? I can't flip a coin, there's three. Oh, God. I should flip a coin. It's gotta be random. It's gotta be random. Okay, um... I really gotta go random on this one. So... I guess random would choose... Random would depend on which two I'm picking between. So let's narrow it down to just two. I either want... What were they again? Dark Fighting. Dark Fighting Squirtle. Ghost... Ghost Dragon Charmander. And what was Bulbasaur again? Fairy Psychic. Oh, man. He's so cute and adorable with his pinkness. Um... So the two opposites would be Bulbasaur or Charmander. I'm gonna flip a coin. Uh, no, everybody loves Squirtle though. Ah, Bulbasaur or Charmander. We're flipping a coin on Bulbasaur or Charmander. Uh, Charmander. Let me get a coin real quick. I'll, I'll cut this part out of the video. So. I haven't seen it yet either. If I can get it in the view cam. Heads! That's heads! Can you see it? That's heads. Definitely, definitely heads. Upside down heads. I'm sorry, this is a very unorthodox YouTube video. So that's heads. We got Charmander! Uh, hold on. Yes! Delta Charmander. Heck yeah, it's my choice! Are you sure? Heck yeah, I'm sure. What should I name him? Heck yeah, I'm giving him a nickname. Ghost Dragon. Oh my goodness. 
How much longer do we have? Oh no, I remember how hard it is to name things on here before I fix it. I don't know if there can be fixed, but it did say it's a full game with patches later on coming. Oh god, I love this game so far. What do we call our Delta Charmander? Oh, and also, for those of you watching along, in the future the Pokemon I choose will not have nicknames. I'll go to a name raider later on and fix their names. So you get to name them, but I haven't caught them yet. But, you know, anyone that suggests names after this, I'll take it into consideration. Definitely. But since this episode hasn't aired yet, and this whole series hasn't aired yet on my channel, I'm going to have to come up with this name on my own. So... What do I call him? God, I'm so unorthodox. But you know what? Different is sometimes better. The best people are weird. Um... Oh my goodness. Man, I don't know what to call him. Ghost Dragon. Ghost Dragon. <gasps> I know what to call him. But I need to remember the name. Now I need to know how to spell it. Um, I'll cut this part out of the video. Yeah. Russo, I think you're right. I love that music. I'm going to pick a Delta Pokemon, just like you. Looks like he probably picked, yeah, the Squirtle. Hey Russo, before we go out into a shade forest, into the shade forest, how about a battle? It'll be the perfect time to test out our new Pokemon. Let's go. Aw, oh, I gotta do the battle. <laughs> Maybe that should be the thumbnail, because it's going to need a strong thumbnail. Rival Damien would like to battle. Rival Damien set out Squirtle. <laughs> Alduin. Oh man, they look so different now. I love how Squirtle looks like a freaking like, like, he looks like a Ninja Turtle. Not sponsored. Bag fight. You pretty much only have, what the heck? Twister? What? Gotta try it. Dragon move. Pursuit. Oh, geez. It's super effective. Um, that would be super effective against his ghost type, I guess. Oh, my God. Am I actually... Well, Scratch. We dang sure ain't gonna use Scratch. Uh, I need to use one of my potions. 13, 24. Do I have enough to survive the next attack? He'll get to go twice if I use a potion. Oh, it, it flinched! Lucky me! Definitely finish him off with Twister! I just know if I had used Scratch, I would have lost. Oh man, this is going to be tough. Alduin gained five experience. Russo defeated rival Damien. I think it was five. Wasn't it five? Ugh, I lost. Dude, that's awesome! They're totally different now. Wow, you're a great battler. Do you think maybe I could take... Do you think maybe you could take on a gym someday? All right, Russo, here's the deal. I'm going to head north into Shade, uh, into Shade Forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave, and in the middle of that cave is the rare stone we're looking for. I'll meet you there, okay? Nice. Russo, can I talk to you for a moment? Damien rushes off before I could Damien rushed off before I could give him one, but I'd like you to have this. Of course, the Pokédex always got to have one of those. It's the Pokédex, short for Pokémon Index. It's a data collection of all Pokémon that I give to trainers. If you see a Pokémon, it will be registered in the Pokédex. If you catch one, the Pokédex will be full of data re regarding that Pokémon. Anyways, now that you've gotten what you need, you should be all set to go on your way. Or on your adventure. It's like I'm reading different text. I'm terrible at reading. Head up north to Telnor Cave, deep in the forest. Be careful, and good luck. Dude, sweet! Alright, I think I'll end the ed uh, episode here, and then I'll probably do the shout-out, and then my outro. So, 
shout out comes next. Alright, so I'll turn the face cam off here. Hey everybody, Russ Robo here, and I just wanted to give a shout out to the awesome game Pokemon Insurgents. A Pokemon fan game made for fans by fans. It's an amazing game, and I've added a link to their uh, website where you can download and play for free. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Put some comments in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.